Goobers, episode seven, with Brandon, Nathan, Sean, Jupiter. Man, no, no quirky ending to Sean today. Yeah, I feel like so that's sad. Ended. I know. I ran out of ideas. I've run out of ideas. Yeah. Anyway, lasted like so three or four episodes. Yeah, I was. I had a good run because usually I just I don't think about it until yeah. the episode starts and I yeah. try to come up with something off the top of my head. It you know it's like. And just like this school, right? The smart kids don't have to study for everything, but once you get in a hard class, now you have to study, but you don't know how to study because you never had to before. Yeah. I feel like that's a call-out next time just at me. No, that's also me. I don't know how to study at all. I could have pulled up, like, a game show theme song and introduced myself as, like, a host. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next time. Because today I Well, run it back. All right. Television. Woo. Anyways, yeah, so... Speaking of that, Nathan and I were just having a short discussion about the boys. Probably like yes, the, actually the only the only reason Amazon Prime Video is worth it exactly. at all. It is the best TV show made, like better than Game of Thrones in my opinion. I haven't seen Game of Thrones, but Don't I watch it. it. It's not worth it. <laughs> just the ending ruins Dude, everything. Just, not even lying, the last three seasons of Game of Thrones ruins the first five that were good. really yeah because it's not even worth I knew watching they were bad I because didn't know you know bad like if, if you go in there if you didn't know that the last three seasons were bad i'd say all right watch it up until season five right but like going in there knowing that it's gonna turn like pretty quick it, it's you know, like why even bother you know just right. watch a youtube summary that takes like 20 <laughs> minutes oh uh, yeah i get it but the boys yeah, the boys. So oh good. God. I it's like it okay. superheroes. It's a more realistic depiction of sh- superheroes. What, yeah. It's about... Um, uh, look, look up the literal summary of the boys on Google real quick. I mean, do you want to spoil it? No, it's not... What do you mean? Giving us... Well, you, summary of the boys, yeah. Well, not but, that, but like, you know, like it says like what it is. But the best way I can describe it, it's a more realistic depiction of superheroes where all the superheroes work for a really big company called Vibe. And, uh, you know, Vought and the superheroes are the main bad guys in the story. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of moral gray involved, which... Is where the realistic... Right off the bat, yeah. I can't believe, like, the whole Starlight and the Deep thing, right mm-hmm. off the bat, I was like, well, no, that's in the comic, how this show is in, in the comic books, it was Homelander, uh, Black Black, and... <laughs> Black Black. Oh, yeah, there's a character called Black Noir. Noir is black, so I call him Black Black, because it's funnier. Um... And someone else, but there's three of them in the comic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen the show, you have no idea what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I still, yeah, I'm not We'll get fun. to that. We'll I get that probably in a minute. watch it. But, yeah, read off uh, the, the thing. What oh, there's a long description on Wikipedia. Yeah, there. Oh. Sorry, so Superheroes are often seen as popular as celebrities, as influential as pol- politicians, and sometimes even as revered as gods. Yeah. I, I, that's that's what's pronounced. But that's when they're using their power for good. What happens when the heroes go rogue and start abusing their power? When it's the powerless against the super powerful, the boys head on a heroic quest to expose the truth about the Seven and Vought, the multi-billion dollar conglomerate that manages the superheroes and covers up their dirty secrets. Yeah. And let me oh. tell you, just the first episode, right? So action-packed. It starts off with a bank robbery and the Seven coming in to save the day. And so, like, the robbers are driving this bank truck and about to hit two teenagers. Then, uh, you know, the strong female character, Queen Maeve, comes in and just... Wonder Woman. Yeah, the, the off-brand Wonder Woman. These are all, you know, parodies of other already established just heroes. Realized, like, they're all... Yeah. DC, it's, Bla- it's the Justice League. Yeah, it is. That's the point. It's Batman, Superman... Flash. Uh, I don't know who Translucent's supposed to be. Translucent goes Green invisible. Lantern. No, because he's, he's he has to make stuff. He just goes invisible. Yeah, that's it. True. He, he does. And um, I, I don't even think Maeve really has any powers. I think she's just strong. She's one. That, that, <laughs> the weird thing is, that's a lot of like what the powers are in the boys. Because they do it. It's not like, ah, oh, you're born with a mirage. God gave it to you. Like, no. you know? It's like, I'm not going to spoil anything. But it's just half the superheroes, their powers are just... Super strength, super resilience. Yeah. But, you know, because of that, it's more realistic. And the ones who are better than them rise to the top. Like Homelander, who is basically Superman, because he can fly, shoot lasers out of his eyes. He doesn't have uh, frost breath to Jupiter's yes. disappointment. But, but I feel like his lasers 
trump Superman's lasers any day. Oh, uh, you said Trump. Um, <laughs> yeah, but just in the <laughs> first episode, right? Homelander, with his laser vision, welds a gun to a guy's hand. I didn't Ow. see that. <laughs> what do you mean? He was shooting at him, then he lasered the gun onto his hand and they melded together. I usually do it when I'm like, I watch shows when I'm like doing homework or something. It's just on in the background. And, and then, uh, and then I, yeah. wanna, I wanna say two minutes after that, the main character, Huey, right, and his girlfriend are walking around oh, the street that... of New York. No. And the Flash ripoff called A Train uh, runs through his girlfriend. Literally. He's going God, like Mach that was five, terrible. right? And he obliterates her straight. It's all in slow motion. It's just blood. Yeah, it's slow like, motion. Wow, like, spoilers. He. It's like within two minutes, you know. It's like said spoiler, it's but. the literal physical. It's not spoilers. In the first episode, it's in the first five minutes. It's not a spoiler, but it just it made me so upset because I love them. It's the physical. It's like what would actually happen to you if a jet ran into you at full speed. So you, she had no more bones. The only bone she had left was her jawbone. Outside of that, she was only blood. She got vaporized, and he more was or less. holding like just the hands. Yeah, and like, he was the holding the hand he had, and it cut to like the title cut or something. It yeah. made me laugh. And then, so yeah, what I feel terrible is, laughing after that, funny. this is just I'm giving a quick synopsis of the first episode. Apparently, there's gonna be just but, the boys. Yeah, the boys. But oh my, so good. Uh, so good. There's and also trans- the boys aren't all boys. Yeah, that's kind you of know? the point, though. The, but well, still whatever you're saying. There's still four of them, though, which counts. That's all that matters. Okay. Well, what? whenever somebody says me and the boys, they don't necessarily mean they're all guys. Yeah, <laughs> but, but there has to be four dudes. I don't know why I keep putting up three fingers when I mean <laughs> But, yeah. Okay. But all the superheroes, they're really cool and uh, really well-developed. Like, Translucent, the invisible dude, right? His skin yeah. is made out of, uh, you know, really high-intensity carbon that reflects light. But because of that... Uh, his weakness is electricity, and they in the first episode again. Um, he's trying to kill Huey because I'm not gonna say why, but he is. And another character, Butcher, really badass ex, you know, federal agent dude, hits him with his car, does nothing, right? Mm. And the only way they got, the only way they defeat him is because Huey zaps him in the ass with apparently enough volts to kill a water buffalo. That was and, so good. Yeah, and also, when he episode. goes invisible, he has to be completely naked if yeah. he wants it to work. So it's like, it's, it's you, so, you said completely naked to go invisible. I pictured the no, SpongeBob if you, episode. Yeah, it's like that. It's just like the invisible spray can, you know? <laughs> yeah, it stains clothes. Yeah, so it doesn't stain clothes. If he puts clothes on, you can just see him, you know? <laughs> oh, so it's like the real invisible man, like yeah. the actual original kind of, story. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Um, and they ended up blowing him up with... Hey, 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 this spoilers. isn't a spoiler. And I didn't know it was coming. Oh, what do you mean? I told you about the ass bomb. Yeah. By the way, they kill him by... Because he's indestructible on the outside, right? And the only way you can do any damage to him is electricity, but that just knocks him out. So if they're invincible on the outside, they're you, inside you gotta go the on the inside. And their, their logic was, well, if we shove it down his throat, he'll just throw up. But if we shove it up his bum, he can't get it out. <laughs> Ow. And so they blow him up from the inside out by putting a big lump of C4 off his butt. Yeah, it's a weird show. It's weird, but it's so I good. need to watch it. You it's do. definitely interesting. Um, um, but yeah, that and now I'm starting Utopia, which seems... Yeah, I gotta like start an interesting Utopia show. Well. Right off the bat, it shocked me. Like, Amazon, apparently, yeah, they have dude. good, like, shocks. Because that's, that's, like... But... Just for their obviously boys is a very you know kind of like rated R type TV show. Oh, absolutely. But it gets it gets even weirder and dirtier and grosser uh-huh. than that. Yeah, it. It's gotten to the point where like all of the characters are like bad, not as some. pure as as and that's, that's you would the point. expect. I remember in the second season, they drive a boat through a whale, <laughs> and that's just disgusting. <laughs> Why did I laugh at that? It's in the trailer, then, so that yeah, wasn't a Yeah, spoiler. it was in the trailer. And then, like, after they drive the boat through the whale, Huey, he's, like, depressed and stuff. <laughs> like, so I'm he done. goes, like, no, I want the superheroes to kill me. So he goes, lays inside of the dead, <laughs> of the dead uh, whale. And then one of the other characters would be like, all right, well, if you're going to die in here, I'm going to die in here, too. And Huey's just like, oh, 
ah, you're a prick. Yeah. So he has to, uh, then he's mad about so getting good. up. You know, oh, I got to get out of the whale guts, and the still <laughs> beating heart of the whale is next to me. But... What is this show? It's so stupid. It's great, dude. It's stupid, but in the best way possible. That, those are usually the best shows. Mm. Also, had, also right. has to do with Nazis and. Oh, I forgot about that. She's yeah. racist. <laughs> Nazi. Ooh, that reminded me uh, of immigrant oh. superhero immigrants coming in. Oh yeah. Attacking yeah. people. Um, terrorists in the Middle East getting superhero powers. You said Nazis, and it reminded me of Hunters. Hunters. That was a good show. It was another Amazon show. Dude, Amazon. It was about. Hunter. It was. It takes place in the seventies and. Basically, the concept of the show is there are still Nazis roaming the world they, trying they to... They just t- found the dude not that long ago. They yeah. Find, they find ten Nazis a year. And it's basically... Really? Yeah. It's basically a group of people in a secret society who are trying to kill off all of the remaining Nazis that they're still living. Yeah, they found someone a couple months ago. And there used to be a whole show of, like, finding Nazis. Huh. I'll tell you though, the ending to the show was not that good. I, I hate when that happens. Yeah, because well, because I can see it one of two ways: we yeah. killed all the Nazis, the Nazi killed us. Okay, this is last last time we're gonna talk about the boys because it's been uh, ten minutes of the boys. Well, but, no, it's been ten minutes of Brandon talking about the boys. <laughs> it's but been, I've watched just I think, the first episode eight times. I think it's kind of. I mean, I think it's good, but it upsets me that they haven't fought Homelander once. Homelander, I mean, which I get it, because like he's an indestructible. Like the fight's gonna be closest, over before it starts. He's the closest you can get to God. But it's just like that main character being no, like, unstoppable. No, they did, no, they did fight him. Cause remember Butcher with the. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that wasn't even a fight. <laughs> Yeah, but it counts, it counts. I guess. It okay, that's it, that's it. Let's talk about something else. We talk about the boys way too much. Yeah, also, Homelander has a weird thing for breast milk. The last... <laughs> if you watch it, you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. Okay. But, Sean, you definitely gotta watch it. So I do need to watch yeah, it. Why is Brian... Why is Netflix the worst streaming service now? Hulu is the worst. No, because Hulu, they have, like, actual TV shows, right? Yeah, they got ads, but, like, so what? But like Netflix, you everyone's already watched everything on Netflix. They're not adding anything new. I guess they're, you're right. They're already t- they're taking stuff off of Netflix without adding new stuff. Yeah, yeah. There and that, is that's one the big show problem. that I liked. I think it's a Netflix original. Um, it's called Atypical. That show's pretty good. I've, I've heard, heard of that. Of it, but yeah, what is it about? Um, a kid with autism and his life pretty much. All right. Have you guys? Oh, that's not a TV show. Um, uh, I forget what it was, but some... I'm not going to make that joke, actually, no. That, that's... There's another show... Oh, what was it? I really liked it. Well, I'm not going to remember the name of it. Hold on. Was it The Dragon Prince on Netflix? Like, the only, <laughs> the only good animated show that Netflix no. has ever put out? It was, it was this one girl who had superpowers, and she was going through, like, depression. It was, this, it was so good. It was so good that I forget it's the name. It's so good. It's been a long time so, since I've man, watched it. Man, that show it. was so funny. I but forgot to laugh. I like love that it. kind of level of stuff. The show was so good, I forgot everything about it. I've watched way too many shows. And it had, like, a weird, confusing name. Like, one of those shows. But, like, it, like out of all the Netflix originals, there's only, like, three of them that are good. I'm still in the middle of binge-watching American Horror Oh, they Horror have Story. Tobler, Mall Cop on, uh... Oh, Cobra Kai's good. I don't, I don't like Cobra Kai. My dad like watches it a lot. lot. I feel like it only really... I've heard people. it didn't live up to the Karate Kid. But then again, no, the Karate I, Kid didn't live up to the Karate Kid. True. Well, no, I can, I can argue that a little bit, but I have to go back and rewatch it. Dude, what were they thinking when they made Will Smith... Not Will Smith. A Jaden Smith, the Karate Kid. Oh, uh, I meant, like, the original Karate Kid. Yeah, but karate like the kid. original doesn't live up to the original. Because, like... I remember watching it when I was a kid, like, this movie's okay. And then, like, nowadays, I'll ask some people, like, Karate Kid's the best movie of all time. No, it isn't. Nowhere close to the best movie of all time. But what? I, I gotta... What was even the plot of the newest Karate Kid movie? Jaden Smith goes to China and then learns Kung Fu. I guess karate, not Kung Fu. I'm stupid, but... And he learns it from, like, a Mexican janitor. Like not Mexican, like half, <laughs> he looks like a half Mexican, half Filipino, half Taiwanese janitor. 
which doesn't it's, yeah, make it's, sense. It's same. It's somewhat the same plot as the original. It's just like modernized. But it, it, same plot as the original, but worse. Yeah, like, I don't. I can't this. describe you got the, how so like, it's when different. You have the formula for, for like the math problem, but you do it wrong. <laughs> Like you plug it it's like the- you found the same answer, but you did it differently. Yeah. It took me a long time to find, but the show is called I'm Not Okay With This, which is a weird title, which is why I always forget the name. But that describes me and Nathan show. doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And the ending just... It, it's, it's a really good show. Not as good as The Boys, but... Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Really I won't mention it again. Stop like, mentioning the boys. So uh, what about but animated TV shows? Animated TV shows. I mean, like you Simpsons. Mean the of oh, that, that one's good. Do they get Aloya so, so much in that show? <laughs> I I. What's the word I'm looking for? I didn't res- respect that show as much as I should have when I was little. Same here. Because I was like, why is this taking the spot, the time slot of Adventure Time and Regular Show? Can okay. Yeah, but I didn't to Adventure Time. Okay. Yeah, Adventure Time and Regular Show are like the cult classics of cartoons. I would say, uh, yeah, out of all the Cartoon Network show, I'm going to be on Grim Adventures of Bailey and Mandy, then Regular Show, then Adventure Time. They threw out at least 20 different cartoons to replace every time slot with Teen Titans Go. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's what and that really is pisses terrible. me off. It is garbage. It is a dumpster fire. It is within so a f- bad. It is literally a dumpster fire within but a forest fire. how do you say fire. it's bad when they have such great music as I can shake my own booty inside my own movie? I mean, lyrical masterpiece. I, I remember they had a whole song about Pig Latin. Like, they don't know episode committed yeah. to Pig, Pig Latin. Latin. Oh, gosh. They had, a whole episode Atten, like. they had a whole episode sexualizing Raven when she became Lady Legacy. I remember that. Oh, oh. That was the weirdest thing ever. Oh. It's just, I'm no. Raven. Look at me. I'm wearing white and gold now, and my legs are sexy. Dude, Dude this legs. is a kid's show. <laughs> Dude, my legs. Legs. I like how you guys say, I hate that show blah, 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 and yet you know so much about because, it no because we watched it, it. we bared yeah, it exactly my little it, brother it had to have done something right no, no it, we watched the, the it the it thing was... it did right was being so horribly wrong it like ingrained itself <laughs> in our group. we get ptsd over this no I'm not gonna we lie. watched it because it was bad and we wanted to make fun of it no that we watched it point. no we watched it because there was nothing else on cartoon Network. i watched True, it they got rid of everything else i what what was clarence what was they what were they trying to make Clarence. I loved it. I hated I, Clarence. I, was, I did not like Clarence. I hated it. I loved his. We used to like uh, do impressions of Clarence all the time. Dude, okay. How, what? What was? Okay, you had. I. I'm still convinced Clarence was net, was a show about three autistic children. I don't. Things? I don't know. It because the be. one of the square head, he's like the, the smart kind. And it could then, be like one of those TV shows with like a deeper meaning. Yeah, than me. that's what that's what I'm thinking he's, about. Like. Yeah. Because, like, they all seem in some way mentally Like, Winnie deficient. the Pooh. Well, that's more on the nose. Yeah, but, like, even then, like, what, why did Sh- Sumo, well, it's supposed to be, like, what, a third grade kid, have a smoker's voice, you know? Like, it didn't make sense. Why was he bald? Why didn't he have hair? Why, does he have Caillou syndrome? Is that what Caillou grows up to be? I think you might be overthinking a kid's show. I, I, uh... But Literally, I don't remember his name, but the other one, other one kid looked like Minecraft Steve. Exactly. That's, no. that's the super yeah, smart one. His head was a cube. He was the, he's the type of kid that like we'd see here, like, uh, actually, uh, like one of those kids. No, Nathan Excuse isn't one of those. Excuse me. David is one of those. Actually. No, um, yeah. What Clarence about, like, was fun. Okay. Clarence was good. Dude, so a show that but, is so slept on from Cartoon Network, I'm sorry, Sean, is Over the Garden Wall. It's too I've I never... all I remember about that was the freaking potatoes and molasses song. Yeah, two that's kids all I remember about climb that. Climb over a garden wall, obviously, and then they enter like limbo, and yeah, they spend the whole that. the whole time getting out of limbo while being constantly chased by death who's trying to kill yeah. them. Yeah, I I need to re- I remember I watched like the first three episodes how and then stopped. I, how have I not seen that? That sounds so good. Because they. They put it between Teen Titans Go, uh, Clarence, and Teen Titans Go. <laughs> Why did they play Teen Titans Go so much? I've seen they still each do. episode like ten times. 
Because kids are so immature Cartoon nowadays, Network. and that's what's funny. They, they ruin cable. You know, I used to, my family used to have This is why we don't have cable just, anymore. Yeah, they, they had it just for sports and TV, like, cartoons, right? Cartoons are now horrible, and just sports get aren't on anymore. So... Honestly, it's cheaper to just, like, get rid of We don't cable. even get ESPN anymore. We have this pirating website where they just stream us. That's something you should Let say. us remember the oh, classic. Oh, what are you going to do? Track the, backtrack this IP to my IP to that IP? Uh, yeah, this is not Brandon's phone. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's your phone. I can say whatever I want. Let <laughs> us remember the classic cartoons that have faded away somewhat in the previous years. Courage the Cowardly Dog was a great show. I feel like that hasn't faded. Like, yes, yeah. it's not popular, but I there's mean, still like, people who, I mean, like, like, talk people, about it. But the people who remember those shows are getting way older. That's true. Flapjack. Yeah. People oh, getting, Flapjack. Did you guys ever see the Flapjack, like, movie TV show? Where it was all Maybe black and white, work. and they had real real people playing Flapjack and Captain Kevin. Oh, no. really? Yeah, and they almost, like, had gay sex and got drunk. What? I yeah. don't want to know. And then, and then, and then Was this Flat- car- on Cartoon Network? Yes. And then Flapjack killed Jack. Captain Knuckles. Like they, they fought, and Flapjack killed Captain Knuckles after like doing his own fake out death. And then he saw Candy Island, and then died. What? Yes. It was so. It sounds, it sounds kind of familiar, but it feels more like a fever dream. Okay, what else? What was else was there? What else was there? There's documentary. Chowder. Yeah. Chowder was my favorite oh, show. Chowder. Chowder. Chowder was my favorite show, and I think it still is. God, that was a good show. My favorite joke from that show is like, like, rada, rada, rada. Woo, schnitzel. You can't say that in front of Chowder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh, was what so else good. was there? Ed and Nettie was Ed great. Okay, yes. Gravity Falls. Just, that's not Gra- even Cartoon Network. Dis- Gravity Disney Falls. Ed and Nettie inspired that's me. You know, he'll, Eddie will do anything to get the bag, all right? I, uh, before quarantine started, I hadn't. I stopped watching Gravity Falls because I didn't like. When I was younger, I wasn't interested in the lore. And then over quarantine, I watched the entirety of so Gravity Falls, I. and I was like, "Why did I not watch this before?" I tried to watch Gravity Falls, but I just I didn't like it. It's, it's stupid, great, but like it's good. The ending is really good. It is rare for what, most what's the TV best shows. live action Ooh. Disney TV show. <sighs> You can't ask that. You can't do that yeah, to I us. Can. Shake oh. it up, baby. No. I always had a show for lasted kicking like it. a year. That show lasted like a season and a half. No, no. It didn't. Wizards of Waverly Place was good. I've never watched it. You didn't watch it? I watched like an episode or two, but I, I never I got into it. I watched like... Was good H2O, luck, Charlie. Was H2O... A, it was on Netflix. I thought that was... I thought H2O That's a was That's Team a, Nick. What? I don't know, but I love that. It can... Listen... That show convinced me to go on the internet and find some quote unquote spells to turn me into a mermaid. So every time I would take yeah, no, a, that was, that a shower was or a bath, uh, I'd be like, oh my god, the water's touching me. I'm going to grow my tail soon. <laughs> I think oh, hold on, wait. Mouth is I, up there I just. That was, that was a movie, like a, though. Yeah, okay, was a movie. as we were mentioning Disney shows, this just popped into my head and I forgot about it. Fish hooks. Oh, oh my god. my Dude, god. I look like Oscar from Fish Hooks. <laughs> there weren't that many episodes. Like, I feel yeah. like... Me and my sister many. tried to rewatch oh, it. Oh yeah, Brandon is Oscar. Like... Dude, tell me Clamantha. Just dumb. Right, Clamantha isn't the hottest girl <laughs> 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 ever. <laughs> Clamantha's a baddie. <laughs> but, okay, now what, what's the best... All right, I'm not gonna do Disney live action. But what's the best Nickelodeon live action? So we want to one. I Carly or Victoria. Henry Danger, I think, might be up there. No, no, no Henry no, Danger is not time. up there. So we want one. Victorious or iCarly? Which one, like, to rank I, those? iCarly. 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 iCarly, Victorious, and Zoe 101. I don't, I don't think I ever actually sat down and watched Zoe 101. Because nobody did. And right, I need to. But play Zoe 101 with Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Oh, I love that. I don't even remember that. I remember hearing that title, but I have no idea what it was I, about. I used to watch it on Netflix. Ned's was the best one out of all of them. Then probably iCarly. iCarly mm, was. I still play iCarly. iCarly was classic for just its most random yeah. jokes, like T Bone. T Bone. <laughs> everything on a stick. <laughs> you can't put a taco on a stick. <laughs> 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 
Uh, my favorite thing was remember when Sam beat up Ronda Rousey? Oh, uh, yeah, was, I remember that. Then, butter then, sock. Yeah, butter in a sock and yeah. a like, really hard butter. And then um, uh, Freddie hacked in the CIA servers. Spencer gained like psychic powers. <laughs> what? Yeah, the, be- the, the best one running, the, only... the best running gag was Spencer setting everything on fire. You'll rue the <laughs> he, day, I he, Carly. Wasn't there one time where he set water on fire? Yeah, he was. He started burning in the shower. Um, dude, I can't. I can't go around the school without being like seeing people who are like, like really smart and just thinking like, damn, these people are just like the living embodiment of Neville by Carly. Like smart, <laughs> but in the annoying way. Like you'll rue the day, I Carly. And not her name is I Carly. Like that. <laughs> yeah, Sean's our nibble. No, I'm Gibby. You're <laughs> Dude, I'm my brother. He's a he's a bit he's a bit hefty, right? He's chunk. Yeah, he's he's a bit he's husky. Let's just say that. <laughs> and when we were little, I used to yell at him to do the Gibby. <laughs> <laughs> do the Gibby. Do the Gibby. Listen, the you know how you know a show is good is when your parents are invested in it as well. Like, yeah. whenever we yeah. turned on iCarly, they're like, alrighty, time to watch iCarly. And they would get excited with us. All right. Uh, what is everyone's... Before we go, because we got to get a, we get a run out of time. What is everyone's favorite show? Oh, what kind of show are we talking? Just any any show. show. Not counting the boys. Or at least... Okay, I don't think I have a favorite show. But I got one that's, like, up there. I have a top three. Grand Adventures of Billy and Mandy and KND are tied for number one. Yeah. Chowder is definitely, like, number one. Really? Chowder was my favorite show. Yeah, Other than that, like probably... Like, if I do watch a lot of Family Guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then... Like, all the classic Cartoon Network shows. Family Guy's been going downhill, but what's your favorite? American Horror Story, but only yes. the first season. Only I started really? watching the no, first season, and okay. I just okay. can't even the first season. I, got, I, I gotta finish watching them, because I'm still in the middle of binge-watching American Horror Story. First season was great. I Listen, think Cult I was season, underrated. You know what made me stop watching them? Did somebody do the Gibby? No, it's the <laughs> fact else? that they use the same actors all the time. That Wait, was the what? great part. Be- that was the amazing part behind it. They're different annoying. characters, but like yeah, the, the same, same people yeah. play different characters each season because each season is a different story. Yeah, but it was kind so of annoying. But yeah, that feels, that no, <laughs> that was the great part about it. I don't it's know. it's like those episodes of TV shows. Like okay, Carson. fine. If I have to choose an entire season, then the Amazing World of Gumball. No cap, <laughs> I love yeah, it. Yeah, Gumball's great. I don't know if I have like a particular favorite TV show, but one that's always stuck with it's me. Teen Titans Go, isn't it? Is no. Yes, Teen Titans Go. That's, Teen that's Titans that's an favorite theory. show. No, it's probably Prison Break. Prison Break. What's that? Yeah, it's just, it's it's what it says. It's a guy who was like falsely put into prison. His brother goes, gets himself thrown in prison, and has like the entire layout of the prison mapped on his body with tattoos. And he like has this elaborate way to that escape. Cool. It is so good. You know what's no what except underrated? the ending was so good. It was so good and it was perfect. It was a perfect conclusion. And they, and they brought it back for another oh. season and they ruined it. Um, I hate it when they do that. You know, you know what's an underrated yeah. show? Just real quick, Batman: The Brave and the Bold. Yes, I, I love still have that the show. Music Meister song stuck in my head. That was you know what? He was talking about the prison break, and I don't know why this popped in my head, but destroy, build, destroy. Destroy, build, destroy. <laughs> Dude, what would happen if we tried to skateboard? Dude, what would happen? Like, that was the dumbest show ever. Dude, what would happen it was just Cartoon Network saying, like, all right, we, we, that was their Teen Titans go. Yeah. Oh, that time. You know, I was like the... Do what would happen. Had to walk so Teen Titans Go could run. Oh, that's gosh. So, or, what, what was it? So random or that? No, that so was... Random? You're thinking of Incredible Crew. No, I'm thinking of... So it random was like a Disney, Disney show that lasted oh, Disney? a year. Yeah, no, it's, that was so random based off of, like, what was it? Always Sunny, I think? I think so. Yeah, Sunny with a Chance. Sunny with a Chance. I always get mm. the actual good show, Always Sunny. Sunny with a Chance of so, With the one that nobody ever, mm. ever remembers. All right. Okay, Anyways, moral uh, of the story, everybody watch the boys. Yeah. Yes. Um, leave a comment what you want us to talk about next. 
Because right. we, yeah. we are running yeah. out of ideas. <laughs> and there is a chance we may never speak to you again. Yeah, COVID go hard. But see you guys next week. All right. Bye. See you then. Well,